Hey everyone, so I'm going to be testing out a makeup trend. I'm going to be applying my cream concealer, contour, and cream blush before I apply my tinted moisturizer CT CCTM and all of my powders. Um, this is a makeup trend off TikTok. Personally, I do not have TikTok because I do not agree with some things about TikTok, so I just don't do it. Um, but yeah, I I heard that people are doing it on TikTok. Um, I found out about it from um, people that were doing it on the internet, on Instagram. I don't know what the end re result is supposed to do. I Maybe I'll find out that part and do an updated video. But I did try it the other day, but, and I'm gonna be using, um, I'm going to be using Synergen's Long Lasting Makeup Waterproof. So it's going to last me all day. I use this as my contour. Now this is a deep powder, but when I did it, I've been doing it for the last two days off camera, it came out amazing, flawless. So I'm hoping that it comes out flawless like this. So um, I'm using Candlelight, which is a shadow sense that is a peachy undertone that cancels out any veins, any uh, any veins, any discoloration, any blues, any reds, any purples. It is amazing. So all I have on my face right now is my skincare, and then I'm going to add my CCTM. Um, you, I guess you want to have a light coverage. Um, foundation so I am using a tinted moisturizer CCTM if you need to be color matched I can color match you I will put a link down below so yeah I should have looked up the result like if any of you have TikTok and seen this tell me what the end result is because <laughs> I'm not that old but I'm not that young so yeah so, I'm going to take, go off camera real fast, take a picture, come back of all the products I'm using. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the products that I'm using. So, um, either I'm going to use our Blush Sense, um, bron our Blush Sense Bronzer. It comes in this like little air thing. There's hardly anything in there. You would think it was gone. You can use it. It's actually an airless pump, so you can get every little drop out. This candlelight shadow sense. Um, it you have it's an eyeshadow. I don't know if I said this. It's an eyeshadow that turn is if it it is a cream eyeshadow that turns to uh, powder after 60 to 90 seconds. You have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it before it sets into place. Once it's set into place, it's uh, smudge proof, crease proof, waterproof, anti-aging, label, buildable, hydrating, and it's so good. And it doesn't come off until you take it off. We have mattes, we have shimmers, we have glitters, and you can use it for multiple things on your face. So I'm using these, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one. This one is sold out. So I was thinking I was going to use this for my contour. Maybe not. So I'm going to start out with my candlelight. And I haven't even done my brows today. So... Even though you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it before it sets into place, I wait a little bit to go in. So I did have dark circles underneath my eyes because 
I've been so busy and so tired. So, um, so that's going to help out. And we also have, um, eye cream. So we have an eye cream just by itself. And then we have, um, it's like a pearlizer eye illuminator. And that it has pearlizer in it, which brightens up your under eye. So, yeah. So now I'm going to take my Morphe M, I can't even, M536 brush. And I am just going to apply it. And I heard that once you apply um, your concealer, you don't have to apply it underneath your, like, over top. But I noticed the other day when I did it with this powder for my bronzer, I just put it all over, which I did it wrong. Now that I know, I did have to add more concealer. So maybe it's just your preference. I don't know. But this is, I don't know if it's a makeup trend or they just saw it on TikTok. I have no idea, but I wanted to test it out and show you guys. So that is done. And you can totally tell, like, I'm more brighter than I was. So I'm going to, oh boy. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot to go off and take a picture of it. So I'm going to apply this as both and go off camera real quick. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I had to put more of this on because I forgot I was going to take a picture. So I'm just, everything's like falling apart here. So I am just going to take my concealer brush, or concealer brush, my contour brush that I have, and just blend it out like I would. Yes, this seems like a lot, but I'm trying to, I've added too much, and a little bit goes a long ways. So, here we go. It's not as bad, but, I did put it on my eyes. <laughs> okay, so done with that. And I'm going to, this is a brand new one. It's a sold out color. I don't normally show it, but. It's a reddish, that was more pink but it's a red so I applied that I'm gonna go off, take a picture and come back okay thank you for being patient with me so my blush brush my brushes need to be cleaned I clean them like I've been trying to clean them once a week so this already like I let it sit too long, I think. So you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it before it sets into place. And I don't know if it's just too much contour or what. But now the real test is putting this CCTM on my face because it's really really dark I don't know if it's gonna work so I'm only using a little bit of this and I'm actually so 
Sorry, I looked away from the camera. Okay, so here I go with my brush. Smooth it all out. Whoa, it I'll go in more natural lighting. I should have did that before, but it looks amazing. It kind of like, it kind of gives me the low because the, the Shadow Sense, the pink ruby shimmer has a shimmer to it. So, I like it a lot with this. So, I'm gonna go off camera, go in natural lighting before I put my powders on to show you. And this way, by using cream, not the powder like I was for contour, you like, I don't really need concealer, but sometimes I do. It just depends on the day. But with this, you don't have to use concealer. I mean, you could, but this is amazing. So I like it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys. Okay, so I'm in more natural lighting and it is amazing like i thought there was a little bit of a glow but it's i think it's just the lighting so i think like i will keep on doing this from now on like i've tried it before like people who do uh stained makeup they apply their their contour they kind of do the same method and to me, that's just like a lot. But now that I've tried this, I'm like, hmm, it's kind of the same. So this is how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna go back in where I was and put um, on the powders and see what, how it differences or makes it different. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be quick about this because this video is getting long. But I really like it. So I'm already, I'm using Cinegen's translucent powder in the shade white. We have multiple colors, and you would think like this is super white. It doesn't transfer on as white, and it's talc free, which is amazing. Like, yeah, it's amazing. So. Um, it's one molecule away from being a cream, so I'm just going to take, I didn't put on any concealer at all, so I'm just going to use my powder. I think this would be a good option for summer, because it makes you more, um, tan -er. and I'm actually going in a tanning thing so like our powders are already amazing we have blush powders we have bronzers we have um, translucent like we have a ton I think I don't know, like looking at myself in the phone is different than the mirror. I think I personally would need concealer because maybe, I don't know, that's what I'm used to. I, I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna take the deep powder. 
you don't need much of this. We have medium, we have deep, um, we have light, we have translucent. Um, here's my contour brush. So, I don't want to look like orange, but I, I like it. Yeah, it's kind of, it deepens it up, but I like it a lot. I'm going to put some down here too. Okay, next, this powder is sold out. It's called Peach Flush. Um, it is sold out, but there is, it's called Row. It's like rose something i had to f f figure out the name <laughs> just past me but it comes in one of these and it's a blush and a highlighter so next where did i put my okay you don't need much of this Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this one. Again, the translucent powder. See, it's like super white. If you got too much or it's too orange, you just go like this. And our powders, these are water resistant. Um, they have skincare in them. They are amazing. So, this is the end result. I like it, but I think I like it a little bit, pa bit better with the powder. That's my preference. And especially if you, like, I've done this before. If you have oily skin, like, uh, we have stuff makeup wise for that and I can definitely help you out with that too. Um, I'll put a link so that you guys can shop all of these products that I used today in the video. Remember before when you go to the checkout page, you click that little box and where it says kiss and tell preferred customer. You want to click that and with a when you click it, you want to spend, um, if you spend $100 or more, you get free shipping. So with $100, you get free, sh free shipping, free, uh, free samples, your products, and your samples. And with you by clicking that little box, preferred customer, you get 10% off all your purchases. All year round, it is $10, so it would be 110 the first time. But that 10% off is all year round till the next time it comes up. So, and that's how you can support me. So, and it's a win-win because you are getting makeup that is vegan free had skincare in it, gluten free, made in the US, cruelty free. Um, it helps your skin as you're wearing it, which is totally awesome. Um, yeah, so I like it. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Hopefully you guys can tell me down in the comments down below if you do have TikTok. If I find out, I will do an updated video but please like this video and please hit the subscribe button so and <laughs> can we talk right uh please like this video please hit the subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell and uh so that way you'll be notified every time i post a new video first come first serve thanks for watching hey everyone welcome back to my channel channel and if you're new welcome to redesign 16. so this is where i post about beauty fashion and lifestyle every single week before we get started on applying 
um, this makeup trend off TikTok. Personally, I don't have TikTok, but I heard it's going around. I wanted to test it out. I don't know what it does, but it's applying your cream makeup before your powders. So if you want to see how it turns out, let's jump right into it. But please hit the like button first and hit that subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. Okay, one thing I forgot to add at the beginning was they use primer to prime like set their face before they did their bronzer and stuff like that and also I found out they did their brows and they used a powder um brow I think it was and um but I didn't I used shadow since so I did use a cream and there was an like, I went back and it wasn't called anything, so I'm just calling it Apply Cream Makeup Before Your Tinted Moisturizer. So, and one thing is, I, it looks a little different because when I was off camera and I did all the powders with you guys on the camera, I did go back in and I used a concealer, a cream concealer, to brighten me up because I thought I was too dark. And I did use a little bit more of that little shadow sense. So that is my update. I really like how it turned out. I might do the powder one like do another one and show you how I did it the other days when I was off camera. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Please like this video and please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so that way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching.